Hey hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here to my channel, my name is Core and I'm your BizTech nurse from Southeast England. In today's vlog, we're going to create an e-visa step by step. But before that, let me give you a quick information about e-visa. UK government has developed a digital immigration system called e-visa. This is the replacement of the physical immigration documents like biometric residence permit and your visa vignette on your passports. E-Visa is an electronic record to show your immigration status and the conditions of your permission to stay or enter in the UK. Unlike before, you don't need to receive an invitation email from the Home Office for you to have an E-Visa. You can simply go to gov.uk website or type in gov.uk slash e-visa. For you to create an E-Visa, you need to have an access to a smartphone, you must have a valid email address, and you must have your BRP card or your valid passport. There are two simple steps in creating your e-visa. Number one is you must create a UKVI account. But if you have recently created one, then you can use that account. Number two, you have to confirm your identity through the UK Immigration ID Check app. And that app looks like this. But don't you worry, while you're completing your QKVA account towards creating an e-visa, there will be a link to direct you in order for you to confirm your identity through the app. Before we proceed to our step-by-step -step process in creating an e-visa, remember these following tips. Number one, ensure you are in a well-lit environment. You can use a flashlight or a ring light to help you lighten up the room, okay? Number two, remove your phone case as it would be easier to scan for your BRP chip. Number three, put your BRP card in a non-metallic surface or remove any metallic object near you. And lastly, just read and follow all the instructions for a smooth process. So the first thing we do is we will create our UKVI account. First question, have you ever had a BRP? My answer is yes, continue. Do you still have the BRP card? My answer is yes. And is your BRP still valid? My answer is yes. Continue. Then create a UK visas and immigration account. Hit create an account. Then who are you creating this UKVA account for? Is it for someone else or for yourself? My answer is me, it's for myself. Then it will ask for your details like your name. So your given name and your surname. Then continue. Then what is your country of nationality? Mine is Philippines. Continue. And then which identity document are you using? So I'll be providing my BRP. Then it will ask for your BRP permit details. So the biometric residence permit number and the expiry date. Press continue. It will ask for your date of birth, so day, month, and year. What email address do you want to use when you sign in into the account? After that, you will receive a six-digit security code to your email. And then what phone number do you want to use when you sign into the account? And then you will receive another six-digit security code to your mobile number. And there's a question, do you want access? Do you want someone else to have access to your account? My answer is no. Now let's sign into our UKVI account. What identity document did you use when you created the account? The answer is my BRP. Then it will ask again for your BRP card number and then your date of birth. Then how do you want to receive a security code either by mobile number or your email address? Now you can link your e-visa to your account. So there will be steps to follow for that. So there are three steps and the first one is identity and contact. So you have to confirm your identity through the identity check app. And then there's um, account security and submit request. So that's the final step. So we will prioritize the first step which is confirming your identity. Then hit continue. And it will ask you what iPhone do you have? Then continue on the app. To confirm your identity, you will be diverted to the UK Immigration ID Check app, which looks like this, UK Immigration ID Check. It will need to confirm who you are through your mobile number and email address. Then you can now start using the app. 
So since I registered my BRP in my Yukibay account, so I will be confirming ident my identity through using my BRP and by taking a photo. So which document will you use? I said I use my BRP. So using a biometric residence permit, you will need to take an image of the side of your card with the machine readable zone. The machine readable zone looks like this. So that's the back of your BRP card. So as I have mentioned in my tips earlier, you must have a well lit environment before you do this and you remove the phone case so it's easier for you to scan for your brp chip take an image of your card take an image of the side of your card that has a code like this so as i have mentioned earlier make sure that it's a well lit area there's no glare no shadows and then it should be a flat surface ideally not a metallic surface since the brp has a chip in it so in my first attempt, it says you are using the wrong type of document because at that time, I have no idea that it has to be um, a very good lighted um, environment before taking a photo of my BRP. So I try it again. You have to be very careful for that one. Okay, so the access the, access the chip in your card, access chip completed. Now, the next step is taking a photo using your phone so it's like a passport photo there is a guideline in taking your photo once you have completed scanning the chip of your brp card and after scanning your face and taking a photo then it will confirm your identity it will um, show you your document number your country your surname your given names the date of birth sex nationality and the expiry of your brp card so what happens next return to your uk visas and immigration account to continue you can continue on this phone if you want to return to a different device you can now disconnect the app and use the link we sent to you when you registered your sign in details so you can go back to your ukvi account now and complete the rest of the steps that you have to complete so i'm logging in again to my ukbi account so it's it's asking for what identity document did you use when you created the account my answer is the brp and then continue linking your e-visa to your account you can either continue using a phone or you can um, use a different device like your laptop or computer next you have to fill in your location and your contact preferences question is are you in the uk now so my answer is yes i am in the uk and then it will ask you which email address can we use to contact you so i chose the email that i've registered for the ukvi account then which phone number can we use to contact you so i still use my personal mobile number and then you have to confirm um, your answers your email address and your phone number then you proceed to the second step which is the account security so there will be series of questions that you have to choose and you must remember your answers to that so what i did i took a screenshot of my answers to those questions that i chose so there are three sets of questions to choose from then the last step will be submit the request by completing a declaration so the declaration says i confirm that to the best of my knowledge and belief that the information that i have provided is correct you have to click 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 and then continue so choose what applies for you then it says that the third step is already completed then confirm and submit so what happens next so once you have completed your declaration you will receive an email once your e-visa is ready to view so your e-visa will be linked to your ukvi account so when your e-visa is ready to view you can now log in back to your ukvi account to check for your immigration status online so you can share your immigration status information with third parties such as your employer or landlords so now this is the email saying that you can now view your e-visa or your online immigration status you will need to sign in using your UK visas and immigration UKVI account details. So there will be a link so you can access your e-visa. So that's my e-visa, my name and my status which is settled. It says there is no limit on how long you can stay in the UK. And there's approve your status. You can get a share code 
um, that will be used if you want to share information with a third party like a landlord or your employer. And then the last part is it will show you the conditions of your immigration status. So in my case, it is a settled um, status. Now you can access your e-visa. So we had gone through the step-by-step -step process from creating a UKVA account towards confirming your identity through the ID immigration check app and then eventually um, receiving an email confirming that now you can view your e-visa. So hopefully you find the step-by-step -step process of creating an e-visa helpful. And if you have family members, friends, or colleagues that haven't completed yet um, creating an e-visa, please share this video. Um, it is a very thorough video. It's a step-by-step -step process from creating a UKVA account towards confirming your identity in the ID Immigration Check app and then eventually in accessing your e-visa. So thank you for watching my vlog for today. I hope you find value from this vlog. And please do like this video if you find this informative and helpful. And please don't forget to share this video. Once again, thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!